World of Dreams in Gothenwagi. This game brought to you by Mohawk Super Bingo, the Midget B Warhawks playing host to the Bahornwa Sirwa Patriots. Sirwa in green. There's strike one to the leadoff batter, Olivier Russo. Two and one, the count here on Russo. He's facing Wyatt Mayo, the left-hander, the southpaw on the mound. Uh, only eight Warhawks, so there's a lot of room in the outfield should a ball get to that area. Hit on the ground, rolling to first, and that rolls foul, and we've got a two-strike call on Russo. Looking at the Warhawks defensively, Kaya Hemlock's at short. No, at second, sorry, second. Dylan stand up at short, Roja Hill over at third. They were Odu Daibo at first. Jace Norton behind the plate. And we've got a full count here on Nort on uh, Russo. Over in the outfield, Carter Stock and Toby Goodleaf. Here's the full count offering. Smoked into left set left field. And that is gonna get over the head of Stock. Stock turned, throws it into stand-up, and that'll be a stand-up double for Olivier Russo to lead things off here in the top half of the first inning. And now in will step Paul Belmar, the right-hander. Warhawks 1-0-1 on the season, while the Patriots come in third in the league at a record of five wins, two losses. Sirwa. With Russo at second, takes the leap. There's strike one on the outside corner to Paul Belmar. Belmar makes contact but fouls it off and it's a nothing and two count. 0-2 count coming up here from Wyatt Mayo. Here's the delivery. That strike three and a good strikeout for Mayo getting the innings first out as Mordek Mounier steps into bat now. The number three hitter wearing 75, a lefty. So a lefty on lefty matchup here. Mayo's pitch in the dirt. Norton picks it up. Russo holds his ground at second, decides not to go for it. Top of the first inning. One down, no score between Sirwa and Gahnawaga. Here's the 0-1 or 1-0 in there, and we've got an even count. One went one ball, one strike as that one went right down Broadway. Here's the 1-1. Swung on and missed, and we've got a one and two count here on Mounier. Alexi Loiseau, the cleanup batter, on deck. The one-two. Off-speed pitch, misses the inside corner, two and two count. Here's a two-two. It's in the dirt, Norton knocks it down, Russo decides not to go for it. It's a full count. A lot of, not a lot of room behind that backstop, if you want a favorable backstop, you got to go to Valley Field if you're a runner at Park Marcel. The 3 2. Swung on and missed. Ball dropped. Runner's going to go to first. They throw. The Hirodo Daibo tags first base. Russo gets the third on the drop ball, so it's a strikeout. Russo's at third on the steal, and he's hoping that Loiseau brings him in here. As we just seen there, if there was a center fielder here, maybe. Stock would have gotten it, but unfortunately it kind of just went over his head and wide on that hit by Russo as this one misses low for ball one. You hear shortstop Dylan Standup calling it. Two outs, plays at first. Two strikeouts in this inning for Mayo. Hoping to get the third here. The 1-0. Swung on and missed. One and one the count. Mayo winds and delivers. Upstairs, two and one. Good job by Norton behind the plate. 
And don't forget with Russo, the speedster, the leadoff hitter here at third, uh, stealing home is certainly not out of the cards. The 2 1. That one hops the bag. Norton keeps it in front of him, and it's a 3 1 count. Holy VVU on deck for the Patriots. Mayo's 3 1. That misses inside and low, and it's a walk for Loezzo to put runners on the corners. And in steps Olivier Veilleux, and the play's at either second or first now. Mayo's going to have to be cautious of the runner at first. You know he's going to probably jump the gun right away. But there's a runner on third, so you probably don't pay attention. Runner goes, and that is a swipe. So now the play's at first. The pitch to the air. Inside. Oh, he hit him. Yeah, that got a piece of him. Dead ball. Hit by Batsman. And now it's any bag as the bases are loaded with two down for Felix Fredette, number 66 in green. Trying to get the Patriots on the board. As Mayo, the pitcher, waits. Upstairs, one and all the count. Don't forget tomorrow's action here on Baby Boom Memories, the Mohawk Super Bingo game. Junior A Warhawks in action taking on the vowel. And that hit him. And that is an RBI hit by pitch for Felix Verdet. Second hit by Batsman, hit Batsman by Mayo in this inning. And the bases are still loaded and the Patriots are on the board. It's now 1 nothing to Hornwa. So here's Alexandra Fredet wearing 16. And it looks like Felix Fredet's okay. Base is loaded. One nothing lead for Bohornwa. Swung on and missed. Nothing and one the count. Good pitch by Mayo. Mayo digs in. Deal one delivery. Popped foul and it's nothing at two. And Wyatt Mayo's one strike away from getting out of this inning by surrendering just the run. The 0-2 count now coming in from Wyatt, trying to get out of this inning. In the dirt, good job by Norton. As Lozzo had a good jump, he was halfway between home and third, and it's a 1-2 count. Misses the outside corner and a 2 2 count. Good height. Location finder was a little off track though. And we have a timeout as Kyleen stand up will talk to Wyatt Mayo. It's okay. A couple of absences for the Warhawks today as well. Five absences as of note, or at least that I could think of off the top of my head. Mayo trying to get out of this inning. The 2 2 delivery. Swung on and missed. Strike three, and that will do it for the top half of the first inning. One run, one hit, no errors, three left on. And three strikeouts for Wyatt Mayo. Bohornwall won. Warhawks coming up to bat.
There's ball one. There's ball one to the leadoff hitter, Dylan Standup. Digging in against Paul Belmar. Standup swings through this one, and it's an even count, one ball, one strike. Bottom of the first inning, and the Patriots have a 1 0 lead over the Gahnawagi Warhawks here in this U 18 B division matchup. And stand up swings over the top of this one. It's a 1 2 count. Stand up, Rohio Stacy and Dehoeroru Daibo batting here in the bottom half of the first inning. Stand up puts one to third, and that'll get through the third baseman and into left field. One hops the left fielder. And stand-up has himself a leadoff single as he smoked that one right down the left field line and it get, got through into the outfield. So stand-up's aboard here as Rojo Stacy, number 13, will step into bat now. And uh, the shift is on, the left fielder's backing up. Ball one, stand-up. Takes a bit of a lead, but not quite a large one over at first. Here's the wind up and the delivery. That's in there, it catches the knees, even count one ball, one strike. Runner's going in the dirt ball to the throw to second. Stand up's in there and he's got the steal, and the Warhawks have a runner in scoring position here. Two balls, one strike to count. Here's the pitch. And he gets hit. So Stacy will take first on the hit by pitch. And in will step Dehororu Daibo, the number three hitter. Wyatt Mayo batting cleanup is on deck. So the le lefty here, take it in to face the right handed pitching Belmar. And he fouls this one back. First pitch swinging. It's nothing in one. Well, Belmar right there challenging Daibo. He didn't throw anything off speed right there. He went right at him. And Deja Wardodu sends a shot to center field. That'll get to the wall. Center fielder Fredette chases it. One run is in. Rojo Stacy will cross. The throw from out in the outfield. De Rodu will get back to third. It is a two-run triple for Daibo, and the Warhawks have the lead. It's two to one. <laughs> and in steps Wyatt Mayo with the runner on third, and nobody out. Here's the pitch. And Wyatt misses as he swings over the top of this one. Nothing and one the count. Carter Stock is on deck. Kaya Hemlock in the hole. Tejero Daibo at third. He just drove in two. And Mayo is behind on this one. It's nothing and two the count. in there for strike three and Mayo goes down looking three pitch masterpiece by Belmar and that's one out here in the bottom of the first and in steps Carter Stock number 14 an RBI opportunity with the runner at third and one down first pitch swinging 
They throw down to third, and Dybul's going home to throw. He's home, and he scores. And Dybul turns on the Jets, comes across the bag, and gives the Warhawks their third run of the game. It's 3-1, Gahnawage. So three outs, or three runs scored for the Warhawks. One down, and now nobody on base. So if you're Carter Stock, think of it as a leadoff, you're batting leadoff now, basically. That pitch is inside and low. One ball, one strike. That misses the outside corner and it's a 2-1 count. So three runs in for the Hawks. And that's off the plate. Three balls and a strike on Stock. And that's ball four. And Carter Stock takes his base. So here's Kaya Hemlock. She represents what would be run number five in the inning. Three to one, Gahnawagi. Now a runner on first base with one down. Hey. Runner's going. Carter Stock got a good jump. And he's in at second, so the Warhawks have a runner in scoring position on the steal. Back to the action at home plate. That one's right down Broadway. One ball, one strike on Hemlock. Toby Goodleaf is on deck. And Hemlock hits a comebacker to first. The first baseman will pick it up and Olivier Russo touches first for out number two. And here's Toby Goodleaf, what would be the fifth run of the inning if he can come across. Well, two down. Jace Norton on deck. First pitch swinging and it's nothing and one the count. Toby Goodleaf. And that's in the dirt, one and one the count. That's in there for strike two on Goodleaf and it's a one two count. He came up huge for the Warhawks in the playoffs and regionals last year. This is the U15B level. Warhawks finished fourth in that division. That's a 2-2 two -two count. They won the regular season title. Won the playoffs, beating Soulange in the final 7-3, and then, of course, lost that heartbreaker semifinals against De Montagne. It's in the dirt. Stock stays at third, and we've got a full count at the home plate. Misses and Goodleaf draws the walk. Runners on first and third, and runners are going. Carter Stock scores. 
Good base running by Toby Goodleaf. He walked and turned it into a, a double. Carter Stock scores. Good heads up base running by the Warhawks. They even caught me napping. And it's 4-1 K-Town. Everyone watching Toby Goodleaf get, or sorry, Jace Norton getting ready. I guess that's a good strategy to have your catcher batting last. <laughs> There's strike one on Norton. Two hits for Gautnawagi in this inning. Stand up and Daibo. That's in there, and it's a nothing at two now count on Jace Norton. Belmar winds up. Here's the 0 2. And that swung on and missed for strike three. The Warhawks score four, and Gahnawagi leads 4 1 after the first. Four runs, two hits, no errors, one left on. 4 1, Gahnawagi after the first. Welcome back to the Field of Dreams. Top of the second inning, Gahnawage U18 B Warhawks leading the Sirwa Patriots by a score of 4 to 1. That's swung on and popped into shallow right field, opposite field. That's going to work because the Warhawks only have two outfielders. And a leadoff base hit for the Patriots. First pitch swinging. And that's Zachary Pilon Gagne getting aboard here to lead things off for the visitors in the top half of the second inning. Yeah, great piece of hitting here by Pilon Gagne. He got a, he a hold of it at the edge of the bat, put it perfectly into right field. And there's the steal. Norton throws down a second. And that is a steal for Zachary Pilon Gagne. Amy Bechard at the plate. Russo on deck to go back to the Patriots' top part of the lineup. That's off the plate, 2 0 the count. The run gets by, ball gets by. The throw to third. And Pilon Gagne has his second steal and is now just 90 feet away from home. Two and one on Bechard. Off speed pitch gets into the strike zone and Bechard swings over the top. Two and two the count. Wyatt Mayo trying to get the first out of the inning. And he does. It's dropped. They throw down to first in time. Pilon Gagne stays at third, and there's the first out of the top half of the second inning. Back to the top of the lineup with Olivier Russo. He's one for one, doubled and scored the Patriots' lone run thus far. Off the plate, want to know the count on Russo. Lefty on lefty matchup here. Sirwa coming in with a record of five wins, two losses. Hit on the ground, a high bouncer that'll get through to center field. Base hit, Russo has himself an RBI, takes the turn around first, and he will hurt, he will stay, sorry, at first. It's an RBI single for Olivier Russo. He is two for two in the game, and Bohornwa, or Surwa, sorry, has sliced this lead in half. It's now 4-2, tying run, potential tying run, at the dish with one out. It's Paul Belmar. Runner goes, and the ball's dropped. Off the plate for ball one, and Russo's in there standing up. A 
Right, in the dirt, gets past Mayo, or gets past Norton. Russo thought about it, but he decides to hold that third, at second. 2-0 now is the count. 4-2 Warhawks leading the Surwa Patriots. Swung on and missed. 2-1 the count. It's got to be good for Wyatt right there, just that confidence builder to get a strike. Hit well to third, and that'll get by the third baseman and down the left field line. Russo scores. Retrieved, thrown into third. It's a double for Belmar. He's got an RBI double, and it is now 4-3. And here's Morik Mounier, 0 for 1. He struck out back in the top half of the first. Both teams short on players. Sirwa has the nine. The Warhawks only have eight, so two are in the outfield. Carter Stock and Toby Goodleaf have to cover a lot. What a jump! As it's hit down the first. That's an out at first. Belmar gets the third on the play. And here's Alexi Loiseau who drew a walk and stole the base back in the top half of the first inning. It's 4-3 for the Warhawks, and that's the second out on Surwa. Ball gets away. Norton retrieves it. Belmar stays at third. Sir Wad, 90 feet away from tying this ball game. As we've seen in the first, anything's possible as Dejo Rodu Daibo stealing home. That's inside and forces Munier to back up. 2 0 the count. Line down the third baseline and fair. No! They're calling third. The, they call third the hop corner for a reason. A lot of action coming down this left field line and a clutch RBI double for Loizzo. And this game is all square. 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> Both the third base coach and Roja Hio Stacy were very close to that, but I don't think the third base coach wanted any part of that action. It has just an That's strike one. <laughs> the third base coach telling me that the ball actually touched third base, stayed in play, and then curved into the outfield. There's a steal. And Jace Norton throws it back to the pitcher. Stacy wanted the throw. And Loiseau just 90 feet away from giving Surwa the lead. Foul back. Veyu, who was hit by a pitch back in the first inning. No official at bats. That's low and off the plate. Two and two the count. So Mayo trying to get out of this inning. The two two. Got him. That's strike three. We've ended one and a half innings. Sir Wa scores three. They've leveled the match four four heading into the bottom half of the second. We're back with the bottom half of the second inning. Gahnawage four, Surwa four. And there's Dylan stand up the leadoff batter swinging through strike one, nothing in one the count. <laughs> the 
Ball one in the dirt and it one hops the catcher. Foul back and it's a one two count on stand up. And stand up swings over the top of this change up for strike three. One down. So here's Rojahio Stacy. He was hit by a pitch and scored a run back in the first. That does cross. None of these two horn. Ugly Bordo. Jesse Lahash Jr. all out for the Warhawks today. It's a 1 0 count here on. Roja Hio Stacy with the score tied 4 4. Here's the pitch. Stacy lays off the low stuff and it's 2 0. Yeah, I don't think he wanted to come in and use the pitching wedge to play golf today. Here's the 2 0. That's in there for strike one, two and one the count. That's in there and it's a two two count on Stacy. Belmar Wines, the 2-2. Two -two. Popped up in the infield, and that'll go foul. Ooh, that was close. Two balls, two strikes on Roja Hio Stacy. Bottom of the second inning. And Stacy swings through strike three, and there are two down. For Dejo De Rodu Daibo. Well, Belmar, who gave up four in the first, looks large and in charge here in the second. Fouls this one back. Where are all the kids going to chase after these baseballs? Daibo swings at this one, and that's in the dirt. He had to bring out the pitching wedge to make contact with that. It's nothing to do. And Belmar's one strike away from getting out of the inning. Off the plate, one and two the count. As Dejo Rodu Daibo steps in. The pitch. And he smokes this one into deep right field. Right fielder backing up. That's going to get over his head and get to the warning track. Daibo's on his horse. The throw into second. Daibo will hold that second base. And it's a double here for Daibo. And Wyatt Mayo has an RBI opportunity. Mayo 0 for 1. He struck out back in the first. Struck out looking, those are the ones that will always catch the 
wrath of the coaches, so to speak. Mayo makes good contact and sends a shot to deep left. That is caught. And that is the end of the bottom of the second inning. Warhawks score zero. It's 4-4. Four, four. We're back with the top of the third inning. U18B action. The Sirwa Patriots and Gahnawagi Warhawks all squared. It is 4-4. Four, four. Felix Fredette, Alexandre Fredette, and Zachary Pimal Gagne do up for the Patriots here in the top half of the third inning. They'll be facing Roja Hio Stacy, who's come in to pitch after Wyatt Mayo went two solid innings. As ball one, one hops the catcher. Now defensively, Mayo's gone to first. Jace Norton's moved to third. Daibo's now behind home plate. Catching strike one. Stock and Goodleaf still in the outfield. Stand up at short. Hemlock at second. Only real change, of course, is the pitchers and the catcher. Swung on and missed. One and two the count. The one two from Roja Hio Stacy. Upstairs and a little too high. Two and two the count. The two two. That's right down Broadway, strike three, and there's one down. So here's Alexandre Fredette stepping into bat. Fredette struck out looking back in the top of the first. And he swings through strike one here, nothing in one to count. Good swing. Oh one. High. One and one to count. That one hops the bag. Two and one the count. This is low and it's a 3-1 count. And that misses outside for ball four and it's a walk for Alexandre Fredette. Here's Zachary Pilongagne. He singled and scored a run in the last inning. Your hemlock and stand up. You got to be ready over at second. Runners going. Strike one. Throw down a second. Over the head. And it'll get by the outfielder as well. And Alexandre Fredette has scored Sorwa's fifth run. And the Patriots have taken the lead. It's 5 4. Sir Wall led 1-0 in the top of the first. Warhawks scored four, and now four unanswered by Sir Wall to retake the lead. And the bases are now empty. Quit into play down to second. That'll get through to the outfield by Hemlock. And Toby Goodleaf has to hustle to track this one down. And that is the second base hit for Zachary Pilon Gagne. Here's Amy Bechard. Bissard struck out in the second. 0 for 1 on the day. Back, Back to first. Go, 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 go. 
Wyatt Mayo still has the ball. <laughs> I think I've seen this work once. <laughs> Uh, there was a first baseman for the Colorado Rockies by the name of Todd Helton who did that one time. And outside, 1-0. One time, I remember in the majors, he picked off a San Francisco Giant that way. Watched a lot of baseball when I was a kid, me. 1-0 the count on Bichard. Swings through this one, 1-1. One one. Throw down to first. Pilo Gagne calls time, gets back up to a vertical. One run in for Sirwa. That misses the inside corner, two and one the count. Here's the delivery. Inside and it misses, and now the first uh, runner on first takes off, gets the second. It's a steal. And three and one on Bechard. That's right down Principal Street in Shattagy for strike two. Full count. That's not really down Broadway, though. That's the other side of the bridge. Okay, right down St. Jean Baptiste in Chattagui. The 3 2. That's upstairs, and Bessard draws a free pass. And the Patriots have two runners on here with one down, and they've already scored one. There's a hit batsman. Russo is hit by a pitch and the bases are loaded. And Paul Belmar comes in at a crucial juncture of this game. It's 5 4 Surwa. There's one out. Then the bases are loaded. Going to gamble, try to get that double play ball. Strike one. Nothing in one on Belmar. He's one for two. He's doubled and scored. He also struck out back in the first. Nothing in two. Here's the 0-2 from Rojahio Stacy. And that is a very crucial second out. Three pitch masterpiece by Roja Hio Stacy to get out number two. And here's Morik Munez. Bases still remain loaded. Foul back, nothing in one the count. Here's the pitch. Misses. One and one the count. Swung on and missed. And Stacy's one strike away from getting out of this inning. The one two pitch. Got him. Patriots score one and take the lead. It's 5 4, Sirwa.
back to the Field of Dreams, bottom half of inning number three. It's a 5-4 lead for Sir Wah over Gahnawage as Carter Stock looks at strike two. As Belmar in his third inning of work here. And one hops the bag, one and two the count. to the middle and it gets through to the outfield. Carter Stock is aboard with a leadoff single. He's one for one on the day, but has reached base both times. And here's Kaya Hemlock who grounded out back in the bottom of the first. 0 for one on the day. Goes back to first. Belmar faked the throw. That's strike one on Hemlock, nothing in one. <laughs> That's strike two. Throw down to first. Stock holds his forward over at first base. Two on Kaya Hemlock. Popped foul, and that'll get out of play. Bottom of the third inning. Sirwa five, Gahawagi four. away and Stock takes off. Throw to second. And he gets in there. Second baseman just couldn't catch it. Ball was in the dirt. And Carter Stock with a good slide at the end. He's got his second stolen base of the day. Toby Goodleaf on deck. Here's the one two. Hemlock keeps this bat at live, uh, live by fouling that pitch off, and pitch number six of the at bat is coming up. Ball gets away. Good dig out. The throw down to third. Ball's dropped. Ball's dropped. Stock gets the steal. Uh, the third baseman thought he had the ball, but it was dropped. And Carter Stock now 90 feet away from home. And that's strike three, and there's one down. So here's Toby Goodleaf with an RBI opportunity, the potential game tying runs on third. Down Broadway, strike one, nothing on the count. Chase Norton is on deck for the Warhawks. Goodley puts this one in play, knocked down by the pitcher. They get the throw to first, it's dropped. And Goodley's on first, Stock scores, it's an RBI. And the game is tied, 5-5. Five, five. So here's Jace Norton, the number eight hitter, the last hitter as the Warhawks playing with only eight today. And Norton skies this one on the infield. It's caught. 
Stock gets back the first. That's two down. Back to the top of the lineup with Dylan stand up here, stepping into bat. Stand up, watch the strike one, nothing and one the count. 5-5 five, five tie. Ball's high, here's the throw to second, and it gets it to the outfield. And Toby Goodleaf will go to third. And now what would be the go-ahead runs on third base? Dylan stand up. Ball goes into the dirt. That's foul back by stand up. Rojahio Stacy's on deck. 2 2 the count on stand up. That's strike three. Throw down to first is in time, and we're headed to the top of the fourth all time 5 5. Welcome back to the top of the fourth here at Field of Dreams. 5-5 five, five scoreline, Sirwa and the Gatnawage Warhawks. Ball one from Rojahio Stacy. He's facing Alexi Loiseau, Loiseau, Olivier Veilleux, and Felix Fredette. The three do up for the Patriots here in the top half of inning number four. Swung on and missed. Check swing and it's a one two count. Swung on and missed for strike three. Out number one here in the top half of inning number four. Here's Olivier Veille, 0 for 1, was hit by a pitch and struck out thus far today. Strike one. Caught it right at the chest. Nothing in one the count. Off the plate, one and one the count. That one hops the bag and it's a two one count. the count here in Olivier Veilleux.
to Felix Fredette. 0 for 1 was hit by a pitch and struck out so far today. Swung on a miss, strike three, and there are two down. Here's Alexander for that. He is 0 for 1, has walked, stolen a base, scored a run, and struck out. Two down here for Sirwa. Trying to retake the lead. It's 5 5 here in the top half of the fourth inning. Hit well, and that'll get through to the outfield. The base hit. And Stock can't get it. Ball got by him into the outfield. And they're going to send the runner home. There's a throw home. Slide, safe. Now they got a runner and a lock to run down. And the ball gets by. Patriots take the lead and they have a runner on third here with two down. Zachary Pilongagne, two for two on the day. <laughs> Trying to give Sirwa their biggest lead of the afternoon. It's 6 5 right now, Patriots. over the head of Stacy back to second. Hemlock throws the first over the head of Mayo. <laughs> and it's 7-5 Sirwa for Amy Blant Beckard, who's 0 for 1 with the walk. She struck out in her first that bat. 7-5 Patriots. Strike one. Top of the lineup due up for the war, or sorry, two, three, four hitters due up for the Warhawks in the next inning. That misses one and one the count, too high. Strike two. Stacy one strike away from getting out of this inning. Two and two. Roy Hill, Stacy trying to finish this inning. Two strike count on Beckard. 7-5 Sirwa. Off-speed pitch misses the outside corner and it's a 3-2 count. Here's the 3-2. Full count. Two down. draws 
there's the walk. And here's Olivier Russo back to the top of the lineup. He is two for two. Two base hits, a single and a double, has scored twice and was hit by a pitch. Ball one. Paul Belmar on deck. He's one for three with two strikeouts, a double and a run scored. 4 And the bases are loaded. We got a pitching change. Dylan Standup is coming in. All right, so Dylan Standup on the mound try to get the last out of this inning. Bases are loaded. Paul, Paul Belmarsh swings and fouls off strike 1. Nordic Mounier on deck. Timeout called. So this is a warning to Dylan Standup for stepping out. Foul back, nothing at two the count. In any event, Standup is one strike away from getting out of this inning. Here's the 0-2 to Belmar. And this at bat will continue. Just got a fingernail on top of that, and the setback continues. Good battle between Standup and Mounier. Pitch number five, the 0 2 count. Four foul balls in a row. That's high, and it's a 1 2 count. And this will be pitch number seven of the at bat. Good battle going on here between Mooney and Standup. Seven five, Sirwa on top. Ball two. And now pitch number eight of this at bat. Three, full count. Now walk would force in a run. Ball four. And the Patriots have taken an 8-5 lead. And the base 
bases are still loaded. Here's Marty Mounier. Sorry, that was Belmar. Uh, this is Mounier. Ninth batter of the inning. Strike one on the inside corner to Mounier. That was actually Paul Belmar drawing that walk. Uh, nine pitch battle between he and Snedd of one and one. Swung on and missed. One ball, two strikes. Eight five, Sirwa. The one two. Skied to second. Hemlock makes the catch. And that does it for the top half of the fourth. But Sirwa scores three, and they lead it eight five. We're back at uh, the Field of Dreams here at the Sports Complex, bottom of inning number four. The U18B Warhawks trailing the Sirwa Patriots by a score of eight to five. Strike one on Rojahio Stacy. Stacy De Hoerodu Daibo and Wyatt Mayo, the three batters. Strike two. That's strike three. Wow. Olivier Russo not playing around. He gets the first out. And here's the Howard Odu Daibo, two for two with a triple and a double. Strike one. Skied into shallow left. That's going to drop, and it's a base hit into opposite field. Retrieved by the left fielder. The throw to second will get there. And a bloop single for De Howard Odu Daibo has given the Warhawks a runner. Here's Wyatt Mayo, 0 for 2, struck out in the first, made good contact, but flew out to left in the bottom half of inning number two. Russo steps off to look at first. Back to first, they go, and the throw gets away, and Daibo's going to take off. And Daibo's in there standing up. Takes the turn. And De Hoerdo to Daibo has gotten himself into scoring position. Now gets it to the dirt. Daibo's going to take off. And Daibo's at third. Runner on third with one down. Strike. One and one. And Wyatt swings at a high one, one and two the count. Carter Stock on deck, he is one for one. Single, two run scored and a walk.
That misses. Two and two the count. And Wyatt swings over the top for strike three. And in steps Carter Stock with two down. Stock gets a piece of this one, but it's fouled and it's nothing in one. Gotta like the aggressiveness here, first pitch swinging. Stock fouls this one off and it's nothing in two. Can Russo get out of this inning? Ball one. That strike three, and that'll do it for the top bottom half of the fourth. Eight five. We right, welcome you back here to the sports complex field, top of the fifth here on Baby Blue Memories. Eight five, Bahorn while leading. There's a miss, one to know the count on Alexi Loiseau. So now uh, the Warhawks lost another, and Toby Goodleaf is the lone soldier out in the outfield. That's fouled back, one and one the count. Here you see Toby by his lonesome out there. So you're going to have to gamble here and kind of play left left center for the right-handed batters and right center for the lefties and really hope that that ball doesn't get into the outfield. Well, it's not going to do that through that. But the Warhawks do have De Hobart Odudaibo out there. Foul tipped in the mitt. Strike two. Loiseau, Veille, and Felix Fredet. Two up. With uh, Loiseau leading things off. Fouled back, and this at bat stays alive. It's one and two. Check swing, goes to third. Jace Norton picks it up to throw to first. In time. Out number one. And here's Olivier Veille, two runs scored. Or one run scored. Hit by a pitch and walked, and there's strike one. Upstairs, one to one the count. Eight to five, Sir Wa leading. That's in there, strike two.
Upstairs. Two and two the count. Fouled. And uh, Toby Goodleaf, now you see in center, the lone soldier out there in the outfield. Three and two. So Mayo's now behind the plate. And Rojahio Stacy has moved to first. They were to die on the mound. Full count offering coming up here. Ball four. And that is a walk. And in steps Felix for that. 0 for 2 has been hit by a pitch and struck out twice. Heat 5, Sirwa leading in the top of the fifth. Strike one. Swung on and missed. Good cut, but nothing in two is the count. One out here in the top of the fifth. That's low. Strike three, two down. So here's Alexander Ferdet. One for two, has walked, struck out, and home, hit a home run inside the park variety. Swings through strike one. That's strike two. Dive but one strike away from getting out of this inning. That misses the inside corner, one and two the count. Two down here, runner out first, one, two the count. On Alexandre Ferdet, the one, two. Sinker misses low and it's two and two as it one hopped the bag. Here's the 2-2. Two, two. Hit on the ground and foul, and that nearly took out the on-deck hitter. This at-bat state continues. The 2-2. Two, two. That misses high and away. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Ball four. And Zachary Pinot Gagne will step in. He has reached base three times, three for three on the day. A single, uh, three singles actually, and three runs scored.
Strike one. That's hit well into right field, and there's no one there. Oh, boy. That'll be a RBI triple, 9-5. Sorry, 10-5 is the score. Sirwa is doubling up now, 10-5. They have gone on a 9-1 run since it was 4-1 Gatnawage. I feel like the three outfielders could have helped the situation today. Good possibility. Here's Amy Beckard taking strike one. Off the plate. Two and one. Three balls, one strike on Beckard. First base is open. That's his second. Runner on third. Two down. Ball four. And back to the top of the lineup we go with Olivier Russo. Fouled back, one and one to count. Ball's in the dirt. Mayo finds it. Two and one to count. That's hit well into deep center. Goodleaf is under it. Makes the catch. That's why he only got one outfielder. 10-5, Sir Waugh heading it to the bottom of the fifth. Back with the bottom of the fifth, it's 10-5 Surwa leading in this U18B matchup. Olivier Russo taking on Toby Goodleaf, Goodleaf, Chase Norton, and then Dylan Standup, the three batters this inning for the Hawks. Next inning will be open, as far as I know. But what I know does isn't equivalent to a whole lot. Strike two. One and two the count on Toby. Yeah, 
And Goodley swings at some high stuff for strike three. So here's Jason Norton. He's 0 for 2, has struck out and popped the shallow left field. Actually popped the, sh the infield. Strike one. That's in there for strike two. That's strike three, two down. So back to the top of the lineup with Dylan Standup. Watching ball one go by. Standup swings over the top. One ball, one strike. In the dirt, two and one. And that's skied into shallow right on the infield, and that is it. One, two, three, go the Warhawks here in the bottom half of the fifth. Patriots. Byte 5. Back to action at Field of Dreams, top of the sixth. This is the open inning. Sirwa Patriots 10, Gatnawagi Warhawks 5. Officially it's 11-5, but the score the scorekeeper has it 11. We have it as 10. So I guess we'll figure that out eventually. The top half of the sixth, they hold Rodu Daibo still in there. Facing Maurice Mounier, who's quickly behind 0-2. There's one down after the strikeout. That's strike three, wow. Seven pitches to get two strikeouts and now Alexi Loiseau is into bat for the Patriots. For the Warhawks to come back, they're going to need a miracle. That's hit well into deep center. Goodleaf makes the catch. That's why you got one outfielder out there. Warhawks need six to tie. 11 5, Patriots. Welcome back to the uh, bottom half of the open inning. The Warhawks officially need six to tie. They're trailing 11 5. To the Sirwa Patriots as Roja Hio Stacy steps into bat. Against the flame throwing Olivier Russo. Ooh. Low strike one by Stacy. Stacy kind of just watched it, nothing and won the count. Mealy. Stacy fouls this one off and it's nothing to do. Amelia. Yeah. 
Sorry about that. I had to go chase my little girl. Nothing to the count on Rohe Hio Stacy. That's strike three, and there's one down. Stacy 0 for 3 now with three strikeouts, and he was hit by a pitch in the first. Here's the Howard Odu Daibo 3 for 3 on the ball game. See if Olivier Russo can bring this baby home for the Patriots. Wyatt Mayo on deck. He's 0 for 3 on the ball game. So sets. Dybul fouls this one back. Oh, I almost went into the field across net that was next to us. Nothing and won the count on De Hoard Odin Dybo. Wyatt Mayo on deck, Carter Stock in the hole. In the dirt, one and one. Here's the one one. Oh. Diable watches that one catch the inside corner at the knees, one and two the count. Perfect location for Russo. Warhawks with seven players right now. And Daibo sends a shot into deep right. Right field is under it and it's over his head. Daibo turning on the Jets, he'll get into second base. And he has himself a double. And he is now four for four today. Here's Mayo, the cleanup hitter. 0 for 3, he struck out twice and flew out to left back in the second. Don't forget that Hill Daibo actually stole home earlier, so you know he has some speed on the paths to burn. And Wyatt comes up empty, nothing in one to count. up empty again and it's currently nothing and two on Wyatt. Cam! Cam! <laughs> Here's the 0-2 to Wyatt. Runner's going. There's a throw down to third and it gets by and he is going to turn the corner. They were to trying to score and he will cross home plate for the Warhawks sixth run. It's 11-6. I still don't know where run number 11 came from. 11 6 Sirwa. One down and a 1 2 count on Wyatt Mayo. And Wyatt comes up empty, and that is strike three. So in steps Carter Stock. He is one for two with a single, three stolen bases, and two runs scored. He struck out in his last at bat. And he represents the last chance for the Warhawks in this game. Check swing, half swing, and he's not able to hit it. It's 0 1. Gets a 
away and it's an even count, one and one. That's strike two on stock. Olivier Russo one strike away from getting Sir Watt a six and two and giving the Warhawks their first loss in B. They would drop to one, one, and one. Stock gets a piece of it, and this baby is still a ball game. It boops at the shallow left field. Carter Stock keeps the game going. And he's got his second base hit of the afternoon. Goodleaf, one for two. He's flown out, walked, singled, and scored a run. Carter Stock on first. Goodleaf gets a hold of this one. That gets through to the outfield. Runners on first and second. And this ball game still has a pulse. So here's Jace Norton. Two runners aboard, back-to-back -back singles for the Warhawks. Ball gets away. Warhawks batters or the runners don't advance. Want to know the the count? Dylan stand up on deck. He is one for four. Will he get a chance to bat? The 1-0 for Russo. High. 2-0. That strike one, that's in there. 2-1 the count. And you know what? Over at second base, Carter Stock is getting a really good jump. And that's swung on and missed, and the Warhawks are down to their final strike again. Last time this happened, Stock hit that bloop single into left field. Russo trying to get out of this thing. Strike three, and that will do it for the ball game. The Warhawks are up 4-1, and the Patriots end this game on a 10-2 run to take it by a final count of 11-6. Bahornwa 6-2, or Sirwa, sorry, 6-2. The Warhawks fall to 1-1-1. One, one, and one. We'll see you tomorrow for the Junior A game. Until tomorrow, on a giveaway.